YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy Boba, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, what we have for you guys is another player pick SPC. It's going to be revolved around Ross Barkley. So, what we're going to be doing today is an SPC player review to see which one you're going to end up choosing. What is the better option? And is it even worth completing this SPC? Before we jump into it, guys, we are running a giveaway at 100 subscribers, and all you have to do to enter the giveaway is hit the subscribe button you will automatically be entered into the giveaway it costs you absolutely nothing and it helps me out tremendously so go ahead and hit that subscribe button it would be greatly greatly appreciated but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's SBC player review to see is it worth completing the new ross barkley out of position card so three requirements for this one which is probably one of the most that we have seen this year we have an 83 and 84 and an 85 rated team uh, top form does require a minimum of one in form with an 83 overall team. England requires a minimum of one English player with an 84 overall team. And then League One requires a minimum of one League One player with an 85 overall rated team. Now, the pack rewards that you do get back is a prime mixed players pack, a mixed players pack, and a small electron players pack. So pretty dead packs like always. Um, let's go ahead and look at the cards in a bit more detail. I'm pretty sure one is a striker and one is a right winger. So pretty cool to see. Um, let's go ahead and type in Ross Barkley, the former Chelsea man, concept players. And here we are. So we have two 86 rated cards, a striker and a right winger for Ross Barkley. Let's go ahead and look at the striker one first. Um, high low work rates, which is fantastic. Four star skill moves, five star weak foot, you know. Okay, very, very nice. He also has an alternative position as a center forward. 86 pace, 88 shooting, 84 passing, 85 dribbling, 61 defending, and 81 physical. Really, really nice. His agility and balance are a bit low. His stamina is decent, um, but a pretty good card overall for a striker. If we look at his player traits, he does have injury prone and long shot taker. If we go ahead and look at the right wing card, uh, same thing, high, low, four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. He can play right, mid, left, mid, and left wing. So he can play every position down the wing that is uh, more offensive. He has 90 pace, 84 shooting, 85 passing, 86 dribbling, 63 defending, and 79 physical. So this card looks a bit more menacing, injury prone, and long shot taker. Same player traits. Uh, 80 agility on this one with 76 balance. He has 80 finishing. The other one has 86 finishing, 88 attacking positioning. Um, looking at the two cards overall, which one would I personally go for? Would I go with the striker or would I go with the right winger? The striker has really bad agility and balance. The right winger doesn't have much of better, but it is, it is substantially better. Um, if we look at... Ross Barkley right here as a striker six foot one four star skill moves five star weak foot it's a decent card his pace definitely needs to be boosted just a bit I think his shooting is fantastic his passing is also very good 88 short pass 87 long pass um, but the dribbling is a bit off and then if we look at the right winger as a right winger, would I want Ross Barkley more as a right winger or as a striker? Personally, looking at his alternative positions and how much more, uh, how much more you can utilize him into his team, better pace, uh, better dribbling, you know. I think I'd pull more towards the right winger than the striker card. Because for me, Ross Barkley is more of a right winger attacking midfielder. He's not really a striker. So the right winger has four more pace, four less shooting, one more passing, one more dribbling two more defending, and then two less physical. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty decent. I feel like he'd be a better right winger than he would be at the striker role. And if we look at the league one, there aren't too many options that you can go with. Uh, let's go ahead and just look at other options from league one to see what we're working with. If we go to league one, and let's look at the striker options. Obviously, we know that there's Kylian Mbappe, there's Papin, there's Ben Yedder, Ben Yedder, there's Govo, Inform Lacazette, Suarez, if you did that, SBC, uh, Toure, the new six foot eight lengthy machine. So there are a bit more striking striker options. If we look at right wingers from League One, we have Messi, and then we have Nicola Pepe. Now, if you are running a League One team, I'd personally recommend going with the right winger left, uh, the right wing, Ross Barkley. I just feel like it's a better card overall than the striker one. Uh, to complete this SBC, I think it's going to be roughly 100k, close to 100k, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, depending on how much fodder you do have in the club. But is this SBC worth it? I'm going to go ahead and say yes if you're running a League One team or if you're running some sort of English team. 
Uh, and then also whether or not to take the right winger or the striker. I just feel like the right winger, there's more alternative positions. He fits more of a right wing playing style than he does at the striker position. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, take the right winger. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. If you did enjoy today's video, go ahead and hit the like button and also consider subscribing to the channel just to get in onto that giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your boy Buba and I'll catch you guys in another video very, very soon. Peace.